Welcome back to another episode of The Last of Us Talk Show. I'm your host, Mikey, and today we are doing our Season 1, Episode 5, Endure and Survive, Episode versus Video Game Comparison. Uh, and, um, you know, again, this episode was directed by Jeremy Webb. Uh, you know, we have Pedro Pascal, Bella Ramsey, Melanie Linsky, Jeffrey Pierce, Lamar Johnson, and Kevin Werdard, uh in this episode. Uh, and before we actually get into the comparison here, let me remind you that uh, this will contain spoilers. So if you haven't seen the episode yet, make sure you go watch the episode before you listen to this. And if you are somebody who... Uh, also wants to play the video game now that you've seen the show and you don't want to be spoiled on the video game i mean clearly you're 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 going to know the base of the story but if you don't want to know like like the specific spoilers of the video games and what the differences are maybe go play the video game up to this point uh of the episode where those same things happen before you listen to this episode but now, let's go ahead and move forward uh, with this uh, comparison. All right. So, a couple of things that we got to establish um, before getting into the details. Again, let's remember uh, from the last episode that we talked about these with the video game comparison that uh, instead of Kansas City, they are in Pittsburgh. Uh, in... The TV show, Sam is deaf. In the video game, he is not deaf. Uh, in the TV show, uh, Henry has never been violent. In fact, the most violent he has ever been was pointing that unloaded gun at Ellie and Joel. Uh, in the video game, Henry seems to know his way around a gun just fine. Seems like he's got no problem being violent if he has to, again, you know, not saying that he's like some psycho killer and just like going around willy nilly killing people, but in this world, it seems like he's the type of guy that has, uh, he has definitely committed a violence uh, to stay alive himself and to keep uh, his brother alive and get what he needs, uh, you know, for supplies to keep him and his brother alive. Uh, the other things that we got to remember, so there is no, um, you know, there's no like uprising in the city. So, uh, the uprising that we see in Kansas city, uh, that took down Fedra, we don't see that in the video game in Pittsburgh. It's just a group of bandits that have, uh, you know, they seem to just be in charge of the city they've taken over this city uh and their base motivation is that they want to attack anybody who tries to go come through this city so that they can take their supplies for themselves um you know so there's no kathleen there's no perry uh there's no mention of a leader of their group at all uh so you know, we don't see any sort of flashback in the video game of Henry and Sam before they met Joel and Ellie. So there's no sort of setup for their storyline where they are trying to escape uh, this group that wants to kill them. In the in the video game, uh, they just they were with a group of people uh, that were leaving Hartford. So Henry and Sam aren't even from Pittsburgh in the video game. They're from uh, Hartford and. Uh, they were leaving Hartford because the Fedra uh, running Hartford was really bad. Uh, so, you know, we, we get word that there is a really bad place uh, where Fedra is treating people like even worse than other places. Um, and that's where Henry and Sam were from, but that's how they ended up in Pittsburgh. It's because they left there with a group of people uh, and the rest of the their group is dead. Um, so th those are kind of like big, just like 
themes that are changed that don't really have any other specific uh, thing like details to give you that happen beat for beat just like oh that's who they are as people or that's how the city is uh, but if we want to get into more details uh, you know it's the same type of thing so uh, where we left off uh, with the last video video game comparison you know they they uh, had just met right so now uh, same thing in the video game and the TV show Henry does you know he's been in this city uh, in Pittsburgh for I believe he said they've been there for about a week maybe it's been a couple of weeks I can't remember they've been they've been in Pittsburgh for a little while though trying to figure a way out so he's feels like he's been around this city uh, enough that he has figured a way uh, to get out of the city so they're going to make a way across the city get to this bridge and then they should be able to get out uh, so that is the plan that they make and uh, you know we get a bunch of video game action uh, sequences through this um, you make that plan and then you execute it you make your way through buildings through alleys through streets where of course you run into the bandits and you have to either stealthily take them out or go in guns a blazing and, and take them out so that you can uh, safely get to the next part of the city of course at some point something does go wrong and uh henry sam and ellie um are making an escape with joel joel uh gets blocked off and uh is not able to i can't believe i can't remember if they were trying to climb something or jump over something joel couldn't uh couldn't make it though right uh, Henry and Sam decide to just take off uh, and leave Joel behind. Ellie jumps back down to Joel and stays with Joel and is like, okay, we're not going to abandon each other. And then at that point, you continue your way through the city still with the plan of, okay, okay, even though Henry and Sam have abandoned us, at this point, we are going to keep making our way across the city here and get to this bridge. You eventually start getting close to the bridge and this big armored vehicle with a turret starts chasing you down so you start running across the bridge there's like some shipping containers on the bridge that you're able to use for cover and then um unfortunately the bridge is destroyed so you can't go all the way across the bridge and there's like a uh the river down below the current is like it's like going really fast it's like raging right so uh joel for a second he thinks like okay i guess i'm gonna have to fight this armored car <laughs> or you know like try to shoot down the people in this armored car and ellie's like no i'm gonna jump down uh, and we'll get out of here uh, obviously as we know before same thing in the video game and tv show ellie can't swim so she's like i'm gonna jump down uh and uh, you'll jump down too and you'll keep me afloat and we'll and we'll get out we'll make it out uh joel is apprehensive apprehensive about this ellie jumps down anyways so joel jumps down after her grabs her but again the current's going really fast here uh and he crashes into a rock and gets knocked out uh you wake up you come to and you're alive uh, guess what henry and sam saved you uh, Joel is not happy, though, that they abandoned them in the first place. So he points a gun in Henry's face where he's like, hey, uh, slow down. Uh, you know, we came back and saved you. Uh, you know, you know, would you have done the same type of thing? And Joel is able to keep his cool, throw his gun down, and... Um, you know, Henry and Sam rejoin them and you're all back together again. And at this point, this is where you have to go through like these sewer tunnels uh, to uh, make it away your way across the rest of the city. And uh, in the video game, you definitely run into infected in the tunnel. So that's a big difference as well, right? Uh, you, 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 they, they, they again have to fight their way 
through the tunnels uh, to get around here. Also, uh, in the TV show, it was a nice little Easter egg. Uh, that picture where we saw like two guards, one of them being Ish, uh, short for Ishmael. Um, that is in the video game as well. Uh, you get a lot more details about it in the video game. You find all these letters like uh, throughout this like timeline of Ish keeping this journal of uh, his time, right? And it turns out, he, you know, he was this guy that, um, yeah, he started like this underground uh, bunker community and was trying to keep all these people safe. Uh, of course, so at some point, something went wrong. Uh, somebody left the door open. Infected got in. Everybody got infected, got killed. Uh, but th based on the letters, we think that maybe Ish uh, made it out and is out in the world somewhere alive still. Uh, but uh, we never get that fully confirmed in the game. But it was a nice little Easter egg to have in the TV show. And it's cool that they made mention of it. Because it's a nice little... Um, story arc of like just a little extra lore uh in the game that you get about the world uh let's see here um of course you eventually make your way through the tunnels just like in the tv show in the video game once you make it uh out uh and you're on the other side of the city henry is kind of like bragging like oh see i told you my plan was good everything's all good and then you start taking shots from a sniper. And same thing, Joel needs to sneak around this house and uh, kill a sniper. Uh, the big difference here is that when Joel gets up to the uh, room where the sniper is, there's no bargaining attempt here to uh, let the, the, the sniper go. And uh, say, you know what, j just let us go. You know, it's the middle of the daytime. I guess he's just got a bad shot. <laughs> uh, and, and Joel decides just, just to take this guy out. Once you do, same thing. Ellie, Joel, uh, I mean, Ellie, Henry, and Sam, they're down on the street. And then uh, the bandits come and start to attack. So you got to take the sniper as Joel... Uh, and start sniping down all these bandits that are trying to uh, get Ellie, Joel, I mean Ellie, Henry, and Sam. Uh, and then that armored vehicle comes again, and it is just like, you know, it is causing, uh, it's wrecking havoc, right? Uh, so eventually you, you are able to blow up that armored vehicle, and same thing, it crashes into a house, uh, makes an explosion. Um, not as it's not as big of a deal in the in the video game. It's not like a horde of zombies come like pouring out of the ground. It's like a couple of zombies were must have been in the house already, and they were disturbed uh, by the noise of the crash, or just disturbed by the crash in general. So they come running out of the house and they attack. Uh, Henry and Sam, uh, and the, but you're able to shoot them off. Uh, and same thing here. Uh, everybody says that they're safe, they're all good, no problem. Uh, and then we cut forward to, yeah, uh, they, they make it out of this little town, and then they get to, like, a radio tower, I believe it was, and then, um, you know, we, we see that conversation where Henry and Joel are having the conversation about, okay, what are we going to do next? Do you want to join with us? Yeah, that'd be, you know, that wouldn't be a bad idea. We could come with you, be safety in numbers uh, type of thing. And we see that Sam and Ellie also had the same conversation that they had uh, in the TV show. Again, Sam's not deaf, so they're just talking this out, right? So they're having the same conversation, but the big difference here is that Sam does not tell Ellie that he is infected. You know, he still has the same questions uh, and, and same concerns. Like, he's 
wondering if Ellie's ever scared because she never seems scared. And he's wondering if the, you know, the monsters, if, if the people are still inside or if they're gone, they have this whole uh, conversation about like, oh, do you think uh, they're still in there? They both decide no. They both wonder if the, those people have moved on, if they're in heaven. Uh, they're not so sure on that either. Uh, but they're seems like they're sure that the the you know the, that the human is no longer there. Um, but because Sam doesn't tell Ellie that um, he's infected, uh, we don't get the whole idea of Ellie here attempting to save him. You know, there's no her thinking like, oh, maybe there's like a last ditch chance that uh, if I just, you know, smear my blood on his wound that it's going to save him. We, we don't get any of that. No promise of Ellie trying to stay up all night with Sam uh, to, to make sure that he doesn't turn. And then in the video game, I don't know if I mentioned this either uh, in the last episode. I know I didn't mention it this episode at all, but, the, you know, the age is a difference too. In the TV show, obviously, Sam is eight. But in the video game, uh, he's like the same age as Ellie or just like a year younger. Uh, so, like, they they have this different kind of... Bond. I mean, almost I feel like almost in the TV show that Ellie is having like a big sister type of bond with Sam. And um, in the video game, they just more have, have like a, they're definitely bonding, but it's more just like a, their peers. So they're, they have a lot in common type of thing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, just a big, huge thematic uh, change here uh, to the TV show where it's great that we get to see Ellie actually experiment and wonder, well, you know, nobody t has told her how this works because nobody knows exactly how it works. She just, like, they just know that she's immune and that it's a possible, you know, that it's going to be possible for her to uh, help them find a cure, right? Uh, but, but nobody has told her how, so in the TV show, she... She, she attempts something, you know, she tries to see if, if, you know, smearing her blood on a wound would work. We don't get that in the video game at all. So that was a, that was a major change, you know, a small detail, but a major, major change, uh, to the character, uh, in my opinion, because this is, you know, in the TV show, now we see Ellie, um, again, just finding more out about herself and and what her immunity means and and the implications of uh how big of a deal it is that she's immune and uh that she gets to the firefly so that they can make a a some sort of immunization some sort of vaccine some sort of cure because the same way in the tv show happens in the video game you know, Sam wakes up the next morning. Well, it doesn't even wake up the next morning. So, uh, Henry, Joel, and Ellie, they're awake the next morning. They're getting ready to have breakfast. And Henry tells Ellie to go wake up Sam so that he can join them all for breakfast. Ellie go, goes to wake up Sam and he has turned and starts attacking Ellie. Uh, again, Joel does try to uh, go for a gun uh, to save uh, Ellie. Same thing. Henry grabs his gun first, shoots at Joel, and uh, doesn't let him take action. But then he does. Takes action himself, shoots Sam and kills Sam. And same thing. He's very distraught, but a big difference here as well to me is that, again, Henry has done a lot of violence in the game. And remember, in the TV show, Henry has committed no violence. He has not killed anybody ever at all. Uh, so this 
uh, you know, it's it makes it even more tragic in the TV show that he has told us that he's never committed violence before. And then in the TV show, the first time he ever shoots someone and takes some sort of violence is against his infected brother. Uh, it just makes it that much more tragic. Just, you know, again, a small minor detail for, uh, 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 of presentation of one version where he obviously knows a way, way around a gun and has been violent versus, you know, one presentation where he's never been violent at all and is actually the only way he's figured out a way to survive because he uh he is not uh violent is to collaborate and be a collaborator right uh so now when he when he finally does take uh act of violence it's against his own uh brother who is infected but still that is uh you know just tragic and sad and depressing for him right but uh you know just getting back to the comparison henry um uh, you know it, it it obviously destroys him in the video game he actually blames joel and then turns the gun on himself so he uh that you know instead of just being like what did i do what did i do he does say like henry what did you do one time to himself but then he turns the gun on Joel and starts blaming Joel, saying, like, oh, this is your fault. You did this. This is your fault. And then he quickly turns the gun on himself. I liked him much better uh, in the TV show where, again, because it's his first time taking any sort of uh, act of violence, uh, he's just, like, so confused and distraught about what did I just do? What did I j No, this can't be real. Like, what? What just happened? What did I do? Uh, I just, I just loved, loved, loved uh, these, you know, technically minor changes, but just make a huge, huge impact on how the story hits you. So great, great episode once again. I got to say that was a fantastic episode, uh, and like I said, I mean. I just fully trust uh, Neil Druckmann and Craig Mazin to handle the the TV series. Uh, you know, every time that they have made, again, even subtle changes uh, to the, you know, the background of a character or just a small detail of a character, uh, they just just those small changes have a huge impact on the way um later details hit you so just just fantastic work and i i can't wait to see the rest of the series and how they're going to handle a whole lot more i mean we, we there was a lot of uh themes in the tv episode that are going to keep you know keep being brought up throughout obviously we're getting the theme of love right and um how these people would do whatever it is they need to do for the people that they love uh and sometimes maybe that's not a good thing we're we, we're getting an example of that with the kathleen character right again that we didn't get to see that kind of thing in the video game so in the tv show we get we have kathleen that can show uh, well when you don't handle um this you know the loss of love um well it could really <laughs> it could really end up bad for you and all the people around you as well so uh, keep looking out for these themes of yeah, you know, a, 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 a family love connecting and also um, how love can, you know, not always uh, lead people to do good things. All right, but again, let me know what you thought of this episode. I want to hear feedback from you guys. 
I did get a comment on the last video uh, talking about Kathleen and her, uh, you know, idea that, <laughs> you know, Sam's life wasn't worth saving. And, uh, you know, this comment just said, I think that's a bleak POV uh, from um, Andrea, my wife, once again. And yes, I would agree. That is definitely a bleak POV. You can't just... <laughs> Uh, you know, I, yeah, I, I, I don't think you can just say that one person's life isn't worth it over another's, no matter, no matter how low, uh, on the totem pole one person might be in life versus another person, you know, if they are, you know, some sort of charismatic, uh, person who has, you know, a lot of power potentially uh but yeah there we go guys uh i can't wait for the next episode uh and to give you guys the into take once that's over so make sure you're uh, subscribed to the channel here on youtube make sure you are you know uh subscribed on apple Podcasts, following on spotify uh would love a five star ratings comments reviews Love, love all that stuff. So make sure uh, you're getting all that into me. Uh, until next time, endure and survive.